I'm Kim Zupan. I've written the novel The Plowman. Uh, my book is about uh, two men, uh, primarily an older criminal who's been incarcerated after a crime and a young deputy sheriff. Uh, these men talk in jail, form a, a rather close relationship, while the younger man's marriage is essentially falling apart. And uh, some difficult things ensue from this relationship. The older man escapes and uh, uh, bad things happen. I came to write this book after having talked with a friend of mine who was a deputy sheriff in Great Falls, Montana for years before becoming a federal agent. And he told me the story of having met this old man. So it is loosely based on fact. And he told me these stories about this career criminal uh, who had a very colorful and uh, you know, horrible career, and this story percolated in my head for a number of years uh, before uh, it forced its way out. I, I have a rather odd sc schedule for writing. Uh, part of my year is taken up with teaching, and uh, I've never been one of these people that could write their novel on the subway on the way to work, unfortunately. For me, it's uh, one or the other, so I cram my writing time in the three months from teaching and a break in the winter time and uh, uh, and I like to work late at night because in theory I, I can start working late and there's no end I'm not bothered by telephones or children or anything like that so I like to work late at night I'll work all day but really the you know the business end of things ha seem to happen at night like most writers I've had to do a number of jobs to keep the wolves at bay uh, as a younger man, I worked on ranches, I worked in a smelter, uh, I worked as a commercial fisherman in Alaska, uh, I worked on jet airplanes, uh, and uh, for the last many years I've worked as a carpenter and now teach carpentry. So I've got these two uh, holes in my head, actually there's another pair back here. Uh, I, uh, in uh, my younger life, the, before writing consumed me, the all-consuming activity in my life was rodeo. and I rode bareback horses professionally for about a decade and at some point in those years I was bucked off rather awkwardly and broke my neck and so I wore a halo brace where, in which they crank these bolts into your skull to keep you immobile. Uh, it wasn't fun as you might guess um, but I was able to come back after that and rode for a couple more years and then I realized uh, I had things to write and it was time to quit. So. The main influences on my writing as a younger man, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, I read everything that he wrote. Uh, and then later on, as with most American writers, Ernest Hemingway became an influence. Of course, William Faulkner, um, Robert Stone, uh, among the contemporary writers, uh, and of course, Cormac McCarthy. The Montana landscape has an enormous uh, input on my writing. It's become almost another character in the book. Uh, as much of a character as in this book John Glode or Valentine Millimackie. Uh, it, it always has. I've, I love the state. Uh, it's, it's raw, it's open, um, unpopul unpopulated, and it becomes really uh, another aspect, another facet of the book in practically everything I've ever written.